Good evening, gang. David Guppel, Thinker Farmer here. I'm a little nervous because what's about to happen to me is pure magic, and it allows you to be in two places at once. So let's watch it happen, and uh, then I'll go ahead and explain what's going on. Alrighty, gang. So I started the video by saying it's pure magic. Um, it really isn't pure magic. It's just a little bit of science in action. Um, what we have here is a, uh, a, a gate latch or a uh, automatic, an automatic gate latch from Teeter Farm Tech is the name of the company. Um, one of Greg Judy's former interns, Kevin, uh, Kevin Teeter's his name. Um, he makes these latches, um, and it's it's they're fairly simple. But I think you're gonna it's gonna be next to impossible for anybody to duplicate what he's doing, and in doing it at the low cost. Um, there's a famous farmer um, from a video, the Carbon Cowboys. His name's Neil Dennis, and he used bat latches, and uh, these these latches, the bat latch, essentially raises the wire up so the cows can go under it. I don't really like that idea because then you might be training a cow to go under a wire. Um, anyway, these latches from Kevin with Teeter Farm Tech, um, very simple. Um, they're half the cost of a bat latch gang. They're only, uh, the ones I bought, I've got three of them now. They're $275 and gang, I wish I had more of them. Uh, you might be looking at this and saying, well, what's the big deal about it, Dave? Um, well, as I started the video out, you on a farm, especially when you're on a farm that's several thousand acres, one of the hardest things can be the cost in being there, especially when you have multiple properties, properties, multiple herds. It's trying the logistics of daily moves become much more difficult. And it's not the cost of putting up the poly wire. People say, it takes too much time to move them. No, it only takes five minutes to put up a poly wire, five minutes to roll it up. It's not that, it's the cost of being there. In order to be at all these places in one day, you're gonna burn yourself out doing chores all day long and you won't have time for anything else. Um, you know, the reason farming has uh, gets such a bad rap today and farmers aren't making a lot of money is because we've taken all the thinking out of it and we've taken all the fun out of it too. Um, and I can easily see somebody that's conventional saying, you know, I don't want to move the animals. I'm already burning myself out working too much. Um, look gang, and I get it. If, if you've got a ton of different properties, it's easy to burn yourself out. And I'm not going to say that these, these latches are going to fix everything, that these are a cure-all, but it's a big step in the right direction. Gang, I could come to this farm once or twice a week if I wanted to, if I had enough latches, and just set up the fences, set up the, the latches, and forget about it, and the cows are going to move. You're going to get the stocking density. You're going to get the cows to quit selectively grazing as much because you can put them into tighter areas. Right now I'm grazing larger paddocks because it's spring flush and grass is growing fast. I don't want them to take it down too short. I don't want them packed in too tight. And also, um, I've, I've only got three of these latches. I wish I had more of them. This tomorrow is, it's Saturday, April 22nd. So I'm not gonna be here again um, tomorrow. So this is basically a, a two day paddock until I can get to them sometime Monday. So back to the whole discussion of being in two places at once and the cost of being there. Uh, gang, I know farming is a, is a lot of hard work and anything we can do to make it easier is important. And it's not just, it's not about being lazy. I don't wanna hear anybody say, I'm trying to be lazy. 
But gang, what if it's Saturday morning and you actually need a break and you need to sleep in? And what if you don't have the extra person to help or the person that needs to help is, is sick or whatever? And what, and, and what about the, the person that's your help when they need a day off too? Uh, what about Christmas Day? If, what, do your cows not move? Or, or what, what do you do? Do, you, does every, do you, you have to go to work on Christmas Day? Well, gang, you get one of these things, Christmas Day is taken care of. That's what I'm saying. There are farmers, I, I read an article in, uh, I won't even say the publication, but I read an article in the publication of a man who almost lost his marriage because he was so busy working on the farm, trying to make a go at it. Um, his wife told him, I'm giving you three months and you're gonna have to choose between the farm or me. Gang, you know, as important as farming is, is it really so important that you're gonna break the most important life relationship, or at least the most important relationship, human relationship in this life? Is it really worth it? You know, all this grass farming is fun, it's wonderful, it's good for the land, but if it's not good for you and it's not good for your family, it's pointless. And I, gang, I've worked plenty of long hours. Don't, I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, David just wants to, to automi autom aut automate everything and make it life too easy and become lazy. But gang, what I am saying is I'd like Sunday morning off to sleep in a little bit. You know, and if, you know, I mean, the, the, the point here is if you had a family and you're moving your cows every day, when are you going to have the time <clears throat> to take them to a soccer game or just to spend time with them or if you're single and you one day want to have a family and make kids, when are you going to have the time to go uh, or even go date a special someone? Or if you're already married and you want to make kids and Saturday morning normally be the time to, to spend some time together and make love, how are you going to do it? You say, oh, I've got to go move cows this morning. Well, that's going to get old fast. But if you get one of these, these gate latches here from Kevin at Teeter Farm Tech, you don't have to live that way. Problem solved. You scale up, you, you wanna get a larger uh, acreage. You find a farm that's, you know, five, 10 miles away or, or maybe whatever, 15, 20, and you're like, ah, I can't do it. It's too far away to move the animals on a regular basis. Get you one of those latches. You, they'll move the animals for you. It, you. We make things too hard when we, we don't use technology to our advantage. Um, Trying to think what else to say about it, gang. You could use these gate latches not only as front fences to move animals forward, but also for a uh, temporary exclusion zone. If you wanted to uh, maybe fence animals into an area for an hour or two, and it's too high of a stocking density for the day, or maybe you didn't have water in that area, but you wanted them to trample it down, you could use one of these gate latches, set it to go off, and then the cows could run out afterwards. It takes a lot of the waiting and a lot of the mechanics and movements. I know right now for myself, every gate latch I put in, it's saving me 15 to $20 or more easy for latch I set up, just in terms of diesel and time cost. And you, you've gotta think about your time here, gang. I mean, that's that's where you're gonna make your money. If you're just staying busy driving around, it's, it's pointless. So go buy the freaking latch and, and find out like I did. Kevin Teeter Farm Tech, um, don't, Maybe I should tell y'all to wait because I'm going to need to order some more. I don't want him to serve me late, but don't stay too busy on the move. Um, I, I think that about says it, gang. Anyway, um, with that, I'm going to wish y'all blessings for the journey and keep it real. And if you want to make more money or, you know, you're a young single farmer or young uh, married and you want to make more money and make kids, um, there's technology out there to help you and there is life after farm work. All right, take care.